Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Bean here, and I'm here to do my Newt's TBR. I know it's already a bit into the month when this video goes up, um, but trust me, I did start on August 1st. In case you haven't heard, Newt's are follow-up to the OWLs, which took place earlier this year. Some people took them last month. I believe I took mine back in May. And these are the follow-up in order to commit to a magical career. If you want all the details, I will link G's channel down below. She is amazing and she has gone through so much work and she has put so much heart and soul into this readathon and I am just so excited to be a part of it. Um, so for the for the layout, I actually have a cool little layout right here in my bullet journal. Um, so I will be reading off of that because I'm sorry, I don't remember everything. Uh, but the career that I am going towards is going to be Magic Zoologist. This is a career that I've always kind of wanted to go into because I do like learning about the animals and the creatures and all of that. So in order to become a magic zoologist, there are three owls that I need to take. I need to take care of magical creatures and I need to get an O for outstanding in that. And then I need to take charms and get an E for exceeds expectations, I believe, and herbology, which I also need an E in. So for these, there are three possible grades you can get on each test, A, E, and O. So in order to get through the test, you do have to basically read three books for each class slash test that you are taking. So I'm going to start with Care of Magical Creatures and then move on from there. I do also want to say that this is a basic idea of what I plan on reading. These could change and I reserve the right to change the books that I'm reading as long as they all follow the prompts and I read them in the certain order. The first prompt for Care of Magical Creatures is follow the spiders. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Read a book with the book title that starts with the letter A for Aragog, and I am going with The Amateurs by Sarah Shepard. This is a book that has been on my shelf for a very, very long time, and I have yet to read it. This follows a case that is several years old, um, an 18 year old girl vanishes. This is about her sister who posts a, a cry for help, I guess, several years later saying that they're still looking for her sister's murder and a group of teen sleuths, I guess, decide to take up this and try and find her sister. So that's basically what I know about it. I haven't read it, like I said, and I am looking forward to it. It is a short book, so this should go by pretty quick. For E, the prompt is to read a book under 300 pages, and I will be going to Kitty Hawk and the Hunt for Hemingway's Ghost by Ian Reading. This is a book that I was sent by the publisher. In fact, I will hopefully be going through most, if not all, of this series. I did read the first one, and I really enjoyed it. This follows Kitty Hawk, who is a student, and she goes around um, in her own biplane in Canada, I believe, and she ends up getting herself involved in these mysteries. And I don't know what this one is about, but I am looking forward to it. And just so you know, this one is 236 pages, so it works for under 300. And in order to get an O in Care of Magical Creatures, the prompt is grab Fox's tail, uh, read a book with a bird on the cover. And for that, I will be reading The Waking Land by Callie Bates. This is the first book in a series, and I got this in a page habit box last year, I believe, and I still haven't read it. So I am ashamed to say that, but I really want to, I really want to get to it. And there's a whole bunch of birds right down here. I, I'm putting another chest in it, but there's a whole bunch of birds right down there. Um, and up here. So there's birds all over and I really don't know much of anything about this book. I believe it's about a girl who can control... she's magic? I think she's magic. Yeah, that's what I know about this one and I am also excited to get to this one hopefully. The next newt that I will be going on to is charms and for charms I technically only need an E but 
being the overachiever I tend to be at times, I'm going to aim for getting an O. In order to get an A on your Newts and Charms, you need to read a book with a gorgeous cover, and I will be reading The Beckoning Shadow by Catherine Blair, which I will have started when this book, when this video goes up. I just received this one in my Beacon box, and I am super excited to read this one. In order to get an E in Charms, you have to read a comic, graphic novel, or manga, and I am going to pick up a new series that I haven't started yet, but I own the first two of, and that's Livingston. But this seems like an interesting manga. I really do love manga, and I love to try out new series that I really haven't heard much about before, and I know, like, nothing about this, except for this follows two personalities who look after souls of the deceased, I believe. We'll see. The last prompt in order to get an O in charms, you have to read a paperback book. I'm being really ambitious with this, and I'm going to try and read The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch, mostly because I've heard that once I start it, I'm not going to be able to put it down. And I'm really okay with that and really excited, so hopefully this book will live up to the hype for me and I will get through it. The last newt that I will be taking is going to be herbology. And for herbology, in order to get an A, the first prompt is Mandrake, or listen to an audiobook. I am currently listening to an audiobook. It's just on my phone, and my phone is right there, so that's a little bit difficult. But I am listening to Is the Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I have started this book. I am about a third of the way through, and I am loving it. I'm getting major Name of the Wind and Game of Thrones vibes. But that's okay, I have no problem with those two combined. So there are dragons, there have already been dragons, and there is a lot of fighting. So I highly recommend this book so far. I'll have an update for you once I finish it, but it is a 16 hour audiobook. So it's taken me a little bit of time. I'm about five and a half hours into it. So I'm getting there, I'll let you guys know. The next prompt in order to get an E in herbology uh, the prompt is to read a book between 350 and 390 pages, and I will be reading Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno-Garcia, which is the book of the month book that I got last month. So this one doesn't count. Oh, damn. That's unfortunate. I guess I need to pick a different one. <laughs> Okay, we're good now. <laughs> Darn, I got it wrong. Okay, so that was a little bit of a surprise there. I My book wasn't 350 pages. Well, damn. Okay, moving on. I got a new book. So now that that happened, in order to get an E in herbology, the prompt is read a book between 350 and 390 pages, and I will be reading My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This is another book that I actually picked up on my own, and I have heard amazing things about it, and I want to read another thriller, I think, right now. It's kind of the mood that I'm in, so this will hopefully be enough of a thriller for me. And the last book on my Newt's TBR here is going to be if I'm going to be an overachiever on my herbology exam and get an O. And the prompt is to read a book with a flower on the cover, and I'm pushing it a little bit, but I'm going to go with it and no one can stop me. I am going to be reading An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard. I've seen a couple booktubers read this and they've enjoyed it, so I am intrigued. I really don't know what it's about, except for it's a magical revenge thriller. I'm down, so that'll be good. So that's all I have today for my Newt's TBR. Again, if you're interested or have any questions or have taken your owls and are looking for a next step, please see the link below and you will happily um, inform you about it. Uh, if you do like what you see on this channel, now is a perfect time to like and subscribe. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And you can hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified whenever we post new videos. Feel free to leave a comment below. What career are you guys looking to do? What is your TBR? I'd love to hear. Maybe we could do a little readathon together. You never know. 
yeah, I don't think I have anything else here today. So I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. It's taller than my head. <laughs>